What's up, guys? Welcome to DDV Talk Channel. I'm Dilek. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, release the parking brake uh, actuator when you're doing your uh, rear brake job. So, if you don't have the professional scanner to uh, release the parking brake, so now is the other choice to release this brake. So, first of all, um, you need to unplug the actuator connector inside only has two pin either positive and negative either, uh, either way on this situation I'm using my power plug to uh, release the parking brake so uh, this is a negative connect connect to uh, one pin use the power plug tip uh, put into put in a 12 volt uh, positive and then uh, activate the uh, parking brake to uh, release the uh, parking brake uh, cylinder like so okay if the situation happened like uh, it doesn't work out and then it, it doesn't uh, release so you you need to uh, switch the negative to other side and put, uh, input the uh, positive 12 volt to uh, the other side so just do it like this negative on left side positive on the right side all right so right now the motor is working and releasing the uh the, the cylinder they're releasing the the piston Wait until the motor stop working. Okay, the motor is stopped. You can hear it by the noise. So now you can uh, replacing the brake pad rotor like the regular way. After you replacing the brake pad rotors, whatever you need, just plug it back the connector. So go back to the driver seat and uh, uh, trigger the parking brake. Key on. And then trigger the parking brake. All right. Just wait until the actuator is stopped. All right, actuator stop now. So now you can put the tire back, everything's done. And the parking brake go back to normal.